Stable Chat, proudly brought to you by Kelly Partners, Paul Dobson and Dylan Barry. Make sure you check the banner out at the end for all your accounting needs. Um, it is tax time here in beautiful downtown Shepparton. Stephen Boynton, hello mate. G'day Paul, how are we going? Very good. I'm actually over here, um, I'll put a teaser, I'm actually going to interview your better half. Um, uh, great to see she finally got a little bit of recognition for all the hard work that she does uh, just recently with the Trots Club Victoria Volunteer of the Year Award. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. We're all very proud of her and I think it's been a long time coming, really. She does a great job. She does indeed. You yourself, you're um, over here at Shepparton and there's lots of lots of building going on. This has been a little bit of a, I suppose, a hidden little gem over here, the Shepparton Training Centre, but you've been here for, a, well, as long as I've known you, which we're not going to go into how long that actually is. No, I've been here... Well, over 30 years, I think, yeah. I bought the the father-in-law actually put the shed here in the originally and uh, I bought it off him 30, probably five years ago, I say. Yeah, it was a it was a well-kept secret for a long time, yeah. It is, it is and um, it's a great little training um, centre and I'll, I'll probably come back at some stage and might even be able to convince Macca to, to do one of these, but that could take a little bit of doing. But basically, you've got an 800-metre training track out the back, but also full access to the racetrack um, on the other side for your fast works and that. Yeah, we've got the yeah 800 metre track out here. There's the racetrack, which is open nearly all the time, bar race days. Um, hats might be out, but there's also a 780 metre track on the inside, which you can use jogger machines and uh, it's good to gallop on. You can fast work on that with the racetracks closed and the back one's a bit wet. So three tracks, swimming hole. Um, yeah, no, it's good. And... Like, good good facilities um, here to be able to use, but central, um, it is a little bit of a stretch, I suppose, to Melton and maybe Ballarat, but everywhere else is central with a much, much better climate than a lot of the other places. Yeah, no, climate's better, that's for sure. Um, Ballarat, sort of, you go there if you have to. You don't, It's about three hours, I think. Um, but you've got Bendigo, Kilmore, Echuca, Cobram. You can whip up to Albury if you like, it's two hours. Um, Melton's about two and a quarter, I think, so just the traffic to Melton. But no, it's pretty central. Yeah, and it's, it's a good place. Good, uh, good, plenty of people here to, like to train with as well, which always makes it easier. Yeah, no, there's probably, oh, at the moment, there's probably about 12 trainers here. Uh, numbers are a bit lighter at the moment because it's winter and a few sort of numbers have dropped down. But there's always someone to work with if you want to. Uh, if you don't, just, you can do your own thing. So that works in pretty good. Right, you've got a small barn, we're sitting in here in a small barn, it's got a couple of boxes that were predominantly just used for, for harness and, and uh, yoke up area behind us, but you've got them in a walk-in, walk-out yards just yeah. at the back? Yeah, I've got a, uh, there's eight walk-in, walk-out pipe yards, um, sand, we've got two little paddocks, I used to use them at the barn, but we just use it as sort of tie-up area and work area really now. Yeah. And it all works well? Works well, Yeah, works good, yeah. I, don't, I just do everything by myself, so um, eight's probably just a good number. Um, eight horses in work? There is actually, yeah. There's, well, I've just got back from a short break, so there's we got back Thursday. There's eight by Sunday, so yeah, yeah. Um, probably about four horses that race, and um, the rest are young ones. What's the big fellow's name? We spoke about him just before, and I forgot his name. Castle Retreat. He'd be your, your pin-up boy. Uh, yeah, he's done a good job for us. Yeah, I think Night School's probably the nicest horse here. Um, uh, we've got a pretty good opinion of him, and I think he'll go a fair way. Uh, but Castle Retreat's done a great job for me sons and their mates. It was good. They've had a lot of fun. Um, they get a little bit going on social media too, which is, which is actually good because uh, uh, yeah, you've got to be able to promote the sport and do things a bit differently. Yeah, no, the boys are right into it. Like they don't work the horse or anything. The oldest one's a curator at the track here, and the youngest one's an electrician. But they quite like the racing and they like the things. They like to party at races anyway. That's good. It is, it is good. And while you're going, you better not forget the daughter because she's actually recently made your your grey hair official. Yes, no, my daughter. Yeah, she's um, she actually doesn't know where the stables are, but no, she's a terrific young woman and uh, recent has got a recent baby, about four months old. So yeah, she's done a great job. You're a grandma or a grandpa? I've got two granddaughters. Yeah, so we're no, but do they call you grand? Oh, sorry, grandpa or, or granddad? Sorry, I actually called you grandma. Sorry about that. No, uh, pop. Well, they don't talk yet, but yeah, pop will be it, I suppose. Yeah. So I'm getting old now. <laughs> Go in the days of um, disco. They don't. They won't be calling you disco. No, I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a few people there. Um, training now, boy. Like you've got. I can say this. You're a little bit older than than what you were now. Like, does it change your goals and change the way that you go about um, your business? Well, you probably. You know, yes and no. I mean, we're still looking for the really good one. Uh, most of the horses here are just homebred, so. We've started breeding a couple ourselves and uh, we've got a couple of clients that breed two or three years so we're pretty lucky that way and they're, they're very good clients and they've been with us for a fair while so um, yeah we'll just see, we're, like, like everyone, we want the good one. 
we're still looking. That keeps us going. What are other challenges like um, here? You know, I suppose there's two sides to it because you've got such a great training set up here. But I suppose you know owners and things like that, local owners, they come here. They they got a great choice, I suppose. So is it that competitive edge as well? Yeah, I think yeah. A lot of my owners aren't even from the area. Like I've got ones from South Australia and Melbourne and, and things like that. So. Um, yeah, but it's yeah. The more people that come, I suppose the pool thins, doesn't it? So, uh, but it's like anything. I mean, it's it's any business. You've got to keep pushing to keep it going, don't you? So, I mean, it just doesn't work by itself. You've got to keep working at it. Uh, definitely. Do you still break in? I yeah, I do. But I haven't since the building's been happening. We sort of uh, give a couple out to other people because it was just a bit too much happening with trucks driving in all the time. And um, like today, there's concrete trucks coming all day. So and again tomorrow. So. The young ones that don't know, it's a bit hard to get to the track with them and things like that. So um, once it's done, we'll restart doing it again. Uh, it is indeed. So, so basically, pretty simple actually. You know, you don't train a lot of horses. You just got it easy and just sit back, let Colleen do all the hard work. Oh, I wish. I mean, she's very, very hard worker. But I think we've been together 35 years or something like that. She's never worked a horse. So, clean a lot of gear. Clean a lot of gear. Done a lot of yards. Washed a lot of horses, but we will not sit behind one. Um, you said there before, one thing I did want to uh, uh, mention too is like the family involvement here. This was um, Colleen's father's shed and he was the track curator um, as well for a long period of time here. It's a big family involvement from from both yourself but also the Muir's as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And uh, Colleen's mother is a life member. Like She was, I think, president of the ladies committee. Um, Trevor, uh, my brother-in-law, he's um, he's got a barn behind me here now and he's, of course, farrier. Um Patrick Ryan's a brother-in-law, so yeah, there's a fair involvement, you know, so, and Kevin, he, well, he's moved back to Shep now, but um, he was a curator back in the 80s, I think it was, so for a fair while. Yeah, it's got a real Muir sort of feel, and that's what I do like, and I think, um, here's another concrete truck coming in backwards, um, I think that's one of the great things that, you know, Colleen does work pretty hard, she works hard alongside Macca, which some people would say is a, a feat in itself, but um, it seems to be very rewarding, because everyone seems to have fun um, at the same, at the right times, if you like. Yeah, true, true. It's um, I suppose you've got to have fun, don't you? I mean, it's, it's a hard life as it is, and trotting's a very hard job, seven days a week, and the hours people keep, so, I mean, you've got to lighten it up occasionally. Do you still enjoy it? I still enjoy it, yeah. It's probably, uh, this time of the year becomes a grind, you know, so, um, yeah, no, we still enjoy it. I mean, if we didn't enjoy it, we wouldn't do it, would we, so, um, because we don't really do it for the money, obviously. No, and uh, I will say, like you say, this time of year, right on cue, that wind just blowing behind us. It's, it's very icy here in central Victoria, or the Golden Valley today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Usually, like, we can have really cold frost. It might, might be minus two in the morning, but the days are really good. But it's a bit overcast and the breeze is a bit cold. So, Boynton, thank you very much, mate. Thanks for giving me five minutes. I um, appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing. I've, uh, I've enjoyed your company over the years. I like what you're doing, so keep it up, mate. All right, thanks very much, Paul.